Hi, my name is Chris. I'm a senior C++ engineer at Bloomberg. Um, and the name of my talk is How Hard Can It Be to Sphene in C++03? And probably some people have some idea. Um, so what's the motivation for this? Um, well, so uh, Bloomberg has been modernizing some of the older sections of its C++ code bases, um, some of which my team has been working on. And in the process of this, I've been fascinated by some of the uh, tricks that I've found in some old code. So uh, the goal for this slide here is to consider a trivial metaprogramming example uh, to create a simple print helper that unifies two different printing APIs. Uh, it should work at compile time with no runtime overhead, so it has to be a metaprogram. Um, and it should be cross-platform and work on all major tool chains. And it turns out, if we want to do this in C++20, it's super easy. Um, these aren't exactly like production-ready concepts, um, but you know, it's super easy to just say what we mean. Um, and so we want a thing that supports stream output. We can just, you know, actually try using the OStream operator. We want something that supports an actual print function that returns void. We can just say that. We can then just combine these two things into a concept and then just take a generic parameter of that type. Um, and it all works exactly the way that you would expect. And so clearly, if it's super easy in C++20, it should be super easy in C++03, right? <laughs> right? Not, no, not exactly. So <laughs> there's multiple problems here. First off, obviously in 03, there's no concepts. This is a brand new feature. Uh, secondly, there's no if const expert. That's also <laughs> relatively recent. Thirdly, there's no decal type, and this one really hurts. Um, like third, uh, fourthly, uh, like default parameters for template, like function templates, are kind of weird. Like I think the standard is supposed to support them, but in some of the older compilers that we tried, they don't work. Um, there's also no type traits. There's no static assert. There's no air conditioning or indoor plumbing, and so like. <laughs> All of these modern features that we expect to have are just completely missing. And so how do we do this? Um, so yeah, exactly. Got a bit ahead of myself there. But so what are we going to do? Um, well, the first idea here is that we're going to try to abuse uh, size of to Sphene on an arbitrary expression. Uh, and the reason that we have to do this is because we're actually trying to like Sphene on whether or not we have an OStream operator, which is found by ADL. And so like none of the normal like partial specialization tricks are going to work. Um, the next idea here is that we're going to try to abuse template type deduction and pointer to member functions to extract return uh, to extract return value types. And this is because decal type hasn't been invented yet. And so we have to find some way to do this. Um, and this is needed to check if the print function returns, it like follows the expected semantics, which is to say that it returns void. Um, and then checking for void is easy because you use the comma operator. Yes, yeah, well, and we'll get there. Um, but so, uh, yeah, we're also going to use tag dispatch to force overload evaluation order. Um, and so the basic idea is something like this, and it's kind of token soup. Um, but so you can ignore the Sphene wrapper. The whole point there is just to make the size of well formed. Um, and so, yeah, the idea here is, is that we have this uh, Sphene wrapper thing that receives an int. We have a size of where we basically just try to take the size of the O stream operator here, then abuse the comma operator and just, you know, give it zero. So we end up computing the size of an int. This whole thing is just defaulted to null and it's a pointer. So the whole thing goes away if it's well formed. Um, we have this priority tag, so the first overload gets evaluated. If that doesn't work, we wind up in this enable if down here. Um, we then try to take the address of the print function. If that is well formed, we then end up going into this return is void. Um, and the enable if is exactly what you would expect. It's just been manually implemented. Um, and so if we look at the supporting types here, we have to manually implement uh, false type and true type. Uh, the priority tag just recursively inherits from itself to force the evaluation order. Uh, we have to implement is same as well. Um, and the interesting bit is that return is void over there. So we take a pointer to member, we extract the return type, check if it's equal to void, and we either get something that inherits from true type or false type. And so we can then use that with like, you know, a double equals here to say if it's equal to the size of true type. So this is all ridiculously convoluted. Um, but as far as I can tell, this does actually work. Um, I checked it on Clang, GCC, uh, Sun Studio, and like the XLC compiler from IBM. And it seems like it's fairly portable. Um, and so if we want to call this, it just works the way that you would expect, and it does what you would expect. So we have to pass in C out so that we have something to actually redirect into, but then we just construct a priority tag, and it pretty much seems to work. Um, and so the takeaways here is that C++ has improved so much over the years. Um, the template engine has always been Turing complete, but now we can do things without obscure language hacks. 
Um, it improves the, drast the readability drastically, and the standards committee has done an amazing job. And so that's five minutes. I have a question. Uh, sorry, what print is overloaded? The print member function is what Oh, what if it's overloaded? That's a good question. Yeah, yeah, that's a fair point. That would be a problem for this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That was what I was talking about with mm -hmm. the comma operator, because if the other argument with the comma operator is void, it never chooses an overload the comma. Uh, so you can overload comma to detect whether you have, you have void. Interesting, interesting. OK, yeah, this would require, the main thing that I was focused on was how hard it was to get the expressions fine to work in 03. But um, that is a good point. We would have to handle that. But do I have any other questions? No. All right, thank you. <laughs> Thanks, guys.